What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about the difference between two different pipe creation extensions, pipe along path and lines to tubes. Today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me at the link down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So these two extensions are both extensions I've talked about in the past that allow you to create pipes and tubes along paths within your SketchUp model. As a general overview, Pipe Along Path is an extension by TIG specifically designed for creating pipes along single paths or lines within your SketchUp model. So for example, so Pipe Along Path would allow me to create a pipe around this line. And the nice thing about Pipe Along Path is it actually allows me to create a pipe with an outside and an inside diameter. So it actually has an outside and inside wall. So let's say for example that I have a three inch outside diameter and a two and a half inch inside diameter. If I click OK, what this is gonna be able to do is this is gonna be able to create an actual pipe um, with a thickness of half an inch. And so this extension allows you to adjust the number of segments that you have in the lines that you create as well. And so this can work for basically any line that's a continuous line so or a continuous path. So for example, if I was to come in here and I was to run pipe along path along this curve, you can see how this would allow me to create that pipe along this curve as well. And so this is very useful for that application. So the limitation of pipe along path is it doesn't allow you to do this along multiple different paths. So let's say for example that I was to create a copy of this and select both of these and then try to run pipe along path, it's gonna give me an error message because the selected path is not continuous. So that's kind of the limitation of pipe along path. Now let's talk a little bit about lines to tubes. So lines to tubes is an extension by Didier Burr that allows you to create a series of different lines into cylinders. So it does not have an inside outside wall option like lines to tubes does, um, but you can adjust the precision and the diameter of the tube that's created. So if I was to click OK here, for example, you can see how this would create tubes along this segment. And the nice thing about this extension is you can use it for multiple different selections at once. So let's say I wanted to create a three inch tube along these curves. You can see how I can do that for multiple different curves as once. And so this is very useful, especially when you have things like uh, sandbox tools, grids, or other faces where you have to create a bunch of different pipes at once. Because what this will allow you to do is this will allow you to come in here and I'm going to use the extension selection toys to deselect my faces. But what I can do here is I can actually come in here with lines to tubes and I can create tubes along all of these different paths. And it's going to take a minute to generate all of that. But you can see how I can basically create tubes along this entire lattice um, or the, all of the lines within this object. So it's really useful for that. But one thing to note about this, the thing about pipe along path or the thing about lines to tubes is it doesn't necessarily create smooth shapes like pipe along path does. So for example, let's go back to our arc tutorial or our arc example. So when I model this arc right here, and let's say I wanted to create a tube along this as long as this is in here as a continuous curve, this is fine. You can select the option for follow me on curves and you can go ahead and hit okay. And this is gonna create a smooth object in here. However, if this curve gets exploded into its individual segments like this, and then you run lines to tubes, you can see how this basically creates that tube segment just along the curve um, but these don't actually line up because it's just taking each segment and then it's creating a circle straight out from that and extruding it. So what happens is on curves like this one, you don't get a smooth object anymore. So that's kind of the limitation of lines to tubes. Where if I was to come in here and same thing, individual segments, and I was to use pipe along path, then you can see how this is actually a smooth transition in here. There's no gap because this actually uses follow me to go along this path. 
So both tools are useful. You should have both of them installed on your computer. You just need to know the uses and limitations of each, each extension. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you using either one of these extensions? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.